Okay, now, last part. China is therefore slowing down. It can't produce exports. It's got to make a transition, and during that time, it's not going to produce the way it did before. It's going to have a lot of difficulties. So what the Chinese are announcing is, to the world, over the last three years already, we look, uh, we're not going to be buying all of the inputs that we use to produce and to be the manufacturer of the world. We're not going to need the copper we once bought from the rest of the world, and the iron, and the coal, and the oil. I'm going to come back to that. Let me do that again. The oil we're not going to buy. They were the biggest buyer of oil in the last 10 years because they were building their production that needed the oil as fuel. Okay? We're not going to buy... Oh my God, now we have a new problem. Dozens of countries in the world were having a reasonably good 10 years. Why? They didn't have to solve their internal problems. They just sold raw materials and food to China, which was buying everything, since they were the great success growth engine of the world. Right? So Venezuela can sell oil to China. Not now it can't. Nigeria could sell oil. Saudi Arabia could sell oil. They can't because China has no need for the oil that it once did, or the copper, or the iron, or the you fill in the blank. Country after country hitched their economic development to serving the Chinese, who in turn were serving the West. The West has its crash in 2008, and then scurries a while, and then it begins to sink in. Holiday is over. Saudi Arabia, a tiny group of people sitting on an unspeakable amount of wealth, are busy cutting their budgets now. No one's ever seen that before. Oil went below $30 a barrel, I believe, today or yesterday. Uh, it was $100 a barrel uh, when it peaked last year. I mean, this is staggering. The countries that produce oil are all in various states of disarray, decay, and deep trouble. Why? Because the demand for oil, most important factor, has really dropped down. Because the Chinese, who were the big buyers, aren't buying. Not only that, but the supply of oil artificially kept down, has been boosted